update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with the mid morning, mid afternoon update for TFNN. There is a big thing in the news today, folks. You should pay attention to it because the 16th largest bank in the United States of America, the Silicon Valley Bank, you'll never guess where it is, folks. This is not a quiz, it's in the Silicon Valley. And yes, it is uh, it's closed right now. It was trading, folks, at 720 a year ago. Uh, ex almost exactly a year ago at 720, and today you could have bought it uh, right before it stopped trading at $39. And if it stopped trading at $39 and the California financial system closed it down, I can tell you that it's not going to open at 40. It's probably going to open at three or two, much like they did with Lehman Brothers, and then Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, or um, Morgan Stanley. Most probably J.P. Morgan will buy it at uh, three or four cents on the dollar if they want to maybe there's nothing left uh, just just a few weeks ago folks they had 200 billion dollars in assets and this bank is the one that funds the ipos before they come out for silicon valley and all over 50 percent of the capital of these startups come from the silicon valley bank or they used to if you think that's not a big idea pay attention to what's going on with these markets i posted the chart of the treasury bond market as you can see there's been an absolute panic to get in treasury bonds just a few days ago when we were trading at the 382 down there at uh, 123 and a half uh, we're now trading at 129 that's a six thousand dollar move in treasury bonds in two days uh, be very careful folks the key number if you're watching on your team is to watch the price of 3880 in the S&P 500 near futures, which is March, they switched over to the June now, but watch 3880. And if we close below that, folks, be very afraid on Monday because this market is going to be what we say topsy-turvy. So let's take a look at that because uh, we've been saying once below 3928, which we cleared yesterday, that tells you that we're probably going to be going down lower. The minimum target, folks, was uh, 38 even. And we could easily, and I know you're not going to, I'm not even going to say 3,200 because you wouldn't even believe me. So that's what we're looking at today, folks. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen or not. All I know is I'm a chart reader. I don't know much more than that, but that's pretty much it. So we'll see you in a few minutes for Fibonacci 24-7. We'll be right back. <laughs> 